Hey YouTube, just coming to show you what I use for my foundation. I was playing in my makeup last night and I kind of got excited. I was able to do my eyes. I thought that because I have oriental eyes, I couldn't do my whole eye, but last night I learned that I could. I had some time on my hands. So now I'm excited about my makeup and doing more things. So I wanted to show you what I use for my foundation. This is Bare Minerals, and mine is um, Deep is Deep, and it has the SPF 15. I've had this Bare Minerals set for at least, how long have I had this set? Oh, man, quite a few years, um, maybe five or six years, because I got it before I moved to Georgia. It, when they say a little goes a long way, a little really does go a long way. When I purchased the Bare Minerals kit, I purchased it at Sephora, or was it JCPenney? One of the two. I believe it was Sephora. And um, it came in a kit with all these things in the kit. You have the lotion. They call it the Skin River Upper, which is, you know, to prepare your, it's like a primer. For your skin. Now this, I don't know if this the consistency is still as good because I've had it for so long. So I'm going to be buying some new bare minerals or a different type of foundation. I just don't like the oily look. I need my foundation to be matte, and this is very matte. Also in the kit, you got your three brushes, which you got the kabuki but kabuki brush, which you use to put your foundation on, you swirl it around in circles. You got the flawless face brush, which I use for my mineral veil and my warmth in my T-zones. And you got the concealer brush, which I use for everything but concealer. Probably is why it looks like that. Um, and like I said, I got this set quite a few years ago. I paid about 60 bucks for the whole set. And it a little has gone a long way. In the set, you get the foundation, mine is deep as deep. You get the mineral veil, and this is supposed to give you that airbrush look. So you put it like in your T-zone, across your chest, where you want to look photo ready or photo finish. You, this is what the mineral veil is for. And then you get the warmth. This is supposed to give you that sun-kissed look, so you can put it on your cheeks and different things like that. So I'm going to attempt to show it to you. As you guys know, we are a technology challenge right now, which is why I'm still recording from my phone, and I can only do this with one hand. So I'm going to attempt to show you what they look like, and I'm going to have my handy-dandy assistant help me. Hopefully she won't spill my makeup because then you're going to hear me scream. So the first one I'm going to show you what it looks like is the mineral veil. Okay, but you got to open it, but it's going to you got to be careful because it will spill. This is what the mineral veil looks like. Very nice. Gives you a photo finish look. I love this mineral veil. It's like a wonderful thing. I love it. Then you have the warmth, which gives you the, the sun-kissed look. And Dee is like literally trying to play the game and help me. She's not a good assistant. And this is, you could, do you see how much product I have left? For me to have had this for years, and a little does go a very long way. That's the warmth. And then the last one is my foundation, which is, sorry guys, Deep is Deep, and it has the SPF 15 in it. And she's going to open that one. And you can see how much foundation I have left in here. Now, I don't wear makeup every day, but even still, I've used this frequently in the last four to five, three to five years that I've had it, and this is what I have left. Isn't that awesome? And then this is the liquid. The squirt, just squirt it on my hand. Be careful because it will fly. So just squirt it a little dab. Okay. And this is what the liquid looks like the primer for your face before you put the medicine, I mean the medicine, the makeup on. And it blends out um, fairly easily. As you can see, she blended in my hand a little bit. It goes away. It just, 
and it's gone. So these are my bare mineral items. Excuse the remotes. Begin her vegetation on. These are my bare mineral items, and I I truly love them. I'm really reluctant to use a different foundation because I want I have to look matte. I don't want to be oily. Uh oh, I don't want to be oily or anything like that. So um, I stick. I have stuck with bare minerals forever. For the last three to five years, I have not deviated. It works for me, but I'm curious to know what the other foundations out there would do. So if you could give me a video response, let me know what foundation you're using that's giving you the full coverage that wears long and it doesn't leave your skin oily. Or you know how foundation sits on your face? Bare minerals does not sit. You literally do not know that you have this makeup on your face. Like, I'm the type of person I have to immediately wash it off and wash makeup off my face because I can feel it sitting on my face and I don't like that feeling. But with bare minerals, I wear it all day and I I will even forget that I have the makeup on. So that's the type I can't do this one now, so that's the type of coverage that I need. So let me know what kind of foundation you use, what your foundation routine is. Send me a comment, a video response or something, and let's just discuss what we do for our foundation, what kind of brushes you use, what, trying to, what kind of tricks you use, anything foundation related. I am like really excited to hear what you guys have to say. Until then, always remember to be amazing. Bye.